I am so excited to show you guys our reading list for January and part of February. One of my goals this year is to do 1,000 chapters with our kiddos. And you guys, actually, it was super hard for me to get the kiddos to sit down and listen. And I have some techniques I want to share with you guys to get your kiddos to sit and to listen to books. But first, let me share with you the books. So right now, we are reading The Bridge to Terabithia. And the kiddos love this because they get to watch the movie after. It's such a great book. And then and next, we're going to do um, The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, one of the classics. And then Ada chose this guy, Mouse Scouts. And it's really fun because then the littles have, you know, little pictures to look at while I am reading this book. And then Clubhouse Mysteries. This is a recommendation from another person on Instagram. And I thought the kiddos would love this. And it also has some pictures in here, which is nice for the kiddos here and there. Not too many of them, you know, what are you gonna do <laughs> to look at? And then Frankie Sparks and the Class Pet Book One. This is a series. And I like to read the first book of the series. And if our older kids want to read the second or third, third book, then they're able to. And I really hope to read these in January when we're outside eating lunch or after our morning time. I like to end it with a read aloud or during the afternoon when baby Eden is sleeping. Some of the techniques that I use for the kiddos to sit there and listen is, well, food. <laughs> we all love food. So during snack time or breakfast or lunch or even dinner, I will say, okay, let's bring out the book. Let's read. Or I'll have them do some sort of coloring or the older kiddos, they have diamond painting or their art lessons for that day. They can do their painting, they can do their coloring, they can do their diamond painting. There's even puzzle work, building Legos. And so if the kiddos have something to do with their hands, they're more likely to just kind of sit there and listen to the book. I know as a child, I loved coloring and listening to books. Even as an adult, I like to journal or doodle or color while I listen to an audible. So let me know down in the comments what you are currently reading to your kiddos. You don't have to be a homeschool family to let me know because Every child should be read to you regardless if they are homeschooled or not. Guys, like and share and comment below. Subscribe to my channel. It really helps. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.